So the question is whether uh, individuals who have liver problems because they're alcoholics should have, like, say, liver transplants and so forth. I remember when I was living in Jacksonville, Florida. This guy, he used drugs and he's alcoholic and all that. And uh, he's having diabetes now because the liver is failing. And um, he's saying that, man, you can't tell these people that, you know, you did all this abuse because they're going to not give you priority and, and opportunity for transplants and so forth. I don't know why folks don't go the other route. I mean, they come up with all this advertising against, you know, for alcohol and against smoking and all this stuff. It goes beyond just an intellectual thing. Um, some kids start using these things even before they become intellectual, since they are small, young, 10, and, and even before that. But I, I don't think that uh, they should get priority. But then again, how would you be able to know who has damaged his liver through some faulty behavior of his? Um, I mean, people eat so much that they wear it out also. Um, they get so obese again that they wear it out. So. I guess um, everybody then who has a liver problem has some abuses that, you know, related to that. As I said, some might be drugs and alcohol, which is obvious, and which people will be having a problem saying, yes, we shouldn't give them no transplant priority. But then, as I said, uh, people who become obese, and I don't think obesity necessarily is a genetic problem, it's just that people have developed bad habits. They eat all day, and, and the, and the, the um, system has to reduce in this bile and all this, um, insulin all day, all day, all day. It'll wear it out because if you were born with a certain amount of insulin to, to um, um, produce, providing that you're well nourished, you know, good vitamins and all that rest and so forth. So, um, whether through obesity or through drugs and alcohol or through um, overeating, even though you're not fat but overeating, eating 100 times a day. Uh, and wearing it out, so everybody who has it, I mean, there might be some people who are born with a genetic uh, problem that might lead to liver problems, or some virus came on and, and, and damaged your liver or something like that, or somebody tried to poison you and then, you know, burn up your liver and then, you know, so on. So, I mean, how you make that determination? A person may not even tell you the truth, so there you go, you got to come back to who got the money, who looking white or whatever to get the, the, the liver, right?